So today's project is going to be removing the fuel pump on this 2010 Silverado because it's literally leaking gas out of the fuel line. And for the exception of having a lift, this is a very basic job that anyone can do in their driveway in their spare time. The only real specialty tool you will require is a fuel line disconnect set you can buy pretty much anywhere. So we'll get started. Boom. Throwing all four of those underneath. And after verifying that they are underneath the frame, we can go up, 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 and away. So you can see where it's dripping out on the fuel line itself. That is rusty. And clearly it's pouring all over the place, mostly the ground, which obviously is where it's going to end up. And we probably could get away with simply cleaning it. However, this thing has almost 300,000 miles, so original tank pump everything uh, so we went ahead and we bought brand new fuel line right there we'll replace that as well as a brand new pump one thing that is worth noting is that this one does not come with the sending unit and most of them in my experience do not so you need to reuse your old one which is what my plan is because it still works or buy a new one so we can get started with just wiping some of this down. Might have to do this a few times in this particular instance just to get rid of all the gas. But to get started, we will undo the filler cap from the other side. So I'll have to bring it back down in order to do that. All right, so pop that open. Take that off to get access. Literally, you have three bolts. These are a seven millimeter. So we'll just quickly unscrew those. And now that's off, we can just push this out of the way and go back up the elevator. And it looks like that leak stopped, which means the pressure that is residual in the tank is basically gone. So I can unplug these hoses and not get blasted with fuel. Now you can see our fuel filler neck is sitting here. There is a ground wire right there. It's attached to the frame. Pick whichever end you want, but one of them has to come off because the tank's coming down and that is gonna stay. And just in case you're wondering why I'm taking the filler neck off the tank up top there instead of right here at the gear clamps, that is because I do not like disturbing all that rust that is there. You can clean out the tank, but I have personally done it several times where I've taken it off like that, only to plug up a fuel filter or have other issues, and it always comes back to how did rust and dirt get in the tank? Well, it came from that when I unbolted it. So if you are able to take that off, I would highly suggest it. And you can see where the ground wire is here. So that is a permanent piece. So unless you're gonna cut and splice something, which you don't wanna do, cause it's fact, simply unbolt this that's on the frame rail. So we'll take this bottom line off the tank. That's connected to your EVAP canister. So there's two lines coming off the tank. That's the bottom one. And this next one up top here is your pressure line. So I can demonstrate that on this new one here. When you want to take it off, you simply squeeze the tabs in, that enlarges it, and it pops off. Now we got this uh, pressure line off, that can come right out, and there's gonna be some gas, of course, along with it, because why not? And it's a 10 mil for that ground I talked about earlier, so we'll just ratchet wrench that out. Now that we have the grounding wire out here, this whole assembly is out. We got the, fu the fuel line connections off. And now we just have to take the bolts off on the tank strap, which there are two, and this unit is ready to come out of the truck. That is a 15 millimeter socket on the tank strap. Now we're not gonna wanna forget our electrical connections at the back of the pump, which usually we'll try and do first, but because I have a lift and a ladder, that is gonna act as my little makeshift jack and uh, I can lower it down a bit and get my hands in there. Another added bonus of removing the fuel neck is this vent line right here is also attached to it. So that's one less thing that you have to take apart before you remove the tank. You can go ahead and remove these connections. One.
too. And now that's everything, this crusty old tank can come out. And before I forget to mention, your differential vent will also be located right there on your filler neck on the 2010 to 13 Silverados. And now that we got the tank out, we can hose her down. Well, it's a good thing I addressed this leaky fuel line because I thought maybe it was just rusted, but here's the problem. Yeah. So I was moments away from blowing my fuel line clean off. That would have sucked. We can slide the ring out. So you're gonna hit it counterclockwise. And then the ring comes off. And then we'll just pull that old pump right out. This would be a great time to dump your tank and get any dirt that's in there. And now getting ready to put the new pump in. Got a new gasket for the pump. And as stated earlier, you will need to unplug your sending unit from your existing one or buy a new one, whichever you prefer, and install it on this one. So this particular fuel pump is ready to install essentially. I just need to install the float here. And uh, this is an all contained unit. I do not need to take any parts off the other pump, thankfully. So after clipping that on, that is ready to go. And then we can just carefully lay our pump in. There we go, making sure we do not bend the arm. And then slide our old retaining ring back over. Um, I'm using, I'm reusing this. Uh, I would highly suggest buying a new one just because. But uh, for how many miles you're on this truck, I'm gonna save every penny I can. We've gone ahead and clicked on our new fuel line here, right there, connect our vent line, pushed it all back down in the tank, ready to get reinstalled. And now with having all that new stuff installed, we're ready to simply lift this back up, bolt it on, put our ground wire, start the car. And congratulations, you have just installed yourself a brand new fuel pump in your 2007 to 13 Chevrolet Silverado.